In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your project tempo without moving your audio or MIDI parts. So I'm going to use this project as a demonstration and explain things. So the thing that I ran into is we, we recorded this song in Pro Tools at the studio and everything was rec recorded to a click track. And I took all of the audio files, I imported them into Cubase, and then I did a little bit of cleaning up to the tracks, and I did fade ins and fade outs. So like here's a tom, tom roll. I cleaned everywhere where there wasn't toms being hit, and did fade in and fade outs to the sections where there is tom hits. And here's the vocals. I cleaned up the vocals real nice with fade ins and fade outs. Um, but now what I want to do is I want to do some time-based editing within Cubase and I want to start quantizing the drums and whatnot to the grid within the project of Cubase. So what I can do is I can have this tempo track here and set the BPMs like so. It's kind of difficult. This mode is specifically for changing the, the tempo dynamically within the, the project over time and I don't actually need that function so all I need is this mode right here which means a static tempo for the entire project and I want to change it from 120 which is the default to 153 which is the actual tempo of this song what it was recorded at now I don't actually need this uh, tempo track anymore so I can delete that and save the room in the project but now what I'm running into is that these toms they're not actually lining up with the actual tom rolls within the the drum sequence here and the vocals as well are not being aligned when I make this tempo change and the reason for that is that all of these tracks are set to musical mode so there's two modes for a track to be in. There's the musical mode, which means that the beginning of this part will latch on to the bars and beats of the track or of the project. And then when you make changes to the tempo, the part itself will stretch, but the beginning of the part is going to latch on to that. In linear mode, that means that this part is not going to latch to it is just going to stretch in one linear fashion. When it's in musical mode, it's no longer linear. It's latching the beginning of the, the part to the bars and beats, and then it's uh, doing stretching and whatnot afterwards. So to fix this issue, we got to go back to our stock 122 or 120 BPMs and then go into all of these tracks and change them all into linear mode. So now that I've done that, now I can change the tempo to 153. And now everything has shifted and stretched um, in the project, but the relation between one another has remained the same. So the song is still intact. Now all I have to do is change this uh, loop marker. I just have to change that size, but that's no big deal because everything is now uh, the way that I want it. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.